So, uh, hi, and thank you for coming. Uh, we're going to look at the X-Car today, as I said on my post. And we're going to look at a different variation. Um, first of all, who's familiar with the X-Car? Who plays with it, uses it? Okay, amazing. Uh, Giles, can I use you? So, the first thing we're going to look at, yeah, it's fine, completely fine. We're going to build it off a foundation, so we're going to build it off the single leg X card. So, everything we're going to do today is going to start off in the single leg X. And firstly, we're just going to set up a nice drill. If you are familiar with the single leg X, we're going to go from an entry from shin to shin, where we're going to sit on the outside, wrap around. So, we're going to go outside arm, wrap around the leg. I'm going to Turn into the inside and I'm gonna kick this leg out, elevating Gal's leg, kicking mine through, coming off to a single leg. However, if you're not familiar with the single leg axe, we can also start by Gal standing opposite here. All I'm gonna do is bring my knees to my chest, come up to the single. Now, as I go for the single axe, what I'm gonna be looking for is firstly, hip high at all times. My bum should not be looking towards the floor. That means that I'm carrying my own weight, it's gonna be really tough. Now, so I'm always gonna post my hips up. See how Kyle starts jumping around as well? Because it's off balance in him. Uh, number two, foot goes on the hip. If you're no gi, you can cross it, you can reap it. If you're gi, stay here on the mid. And I'm gonna bring my other knee and I'm gonna clinch. Now, as I'm in single, I'm always gonna look for an angle. I should never be looking straight towards my partner, especially with my knee turning outwards. It's gonna be super simple for him to, to push me off. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come just a little to the side, Pinch it, open, and I'm always going to be looking at the side of my partner. Make sense? So I want to be looking at the side of him, not straight up, to, up towards him. So just twist him a little bit, keep your knee pinched. Now the first drill we're going to do is just an easy sweep. We're going to close our arm on his ankle, and we're going to wait for our partner's reaction. So firstly, I'm going to twist to the inside, get on my angle. Now he's going to reverse the angle by turning his knee outwards. I'm going to go with it, clear, and come up. Okay, so just a nice and easy sweep. So two ways you can go about it. If you're familiar with the position, you go from shin to shin, hand on the outside, roll towards his legs, kick, elevate, kick through, guide him in, come to an angle. Now, twist inwards, make him want to twist outwards. As he goes, extend with him and sweep. Or number two, if you're not too familiar with the position, because this is just a bonus, I'm just going to go knees towards the chest, clench, raise your hips as high as possible, butt to the air, come to the side, now wait for his reaction, so we twist inside, make him pretty uncomfortable, go outside, palm to the floor, if you want to finish, <coughs> grab on, if you're wearing the gi, hold the pan, if not, just grab the ankle, technical stand up, and he goes, okay, Charles says to me, either from the shin to shin, or yeah, any way you want to do it. So he twists me inside, I twist outside. Bam. Grab my pants. Technical stand up. And my turn. Make sense? So, as I said, if you're familiar, go shin to shin. If not, just lay on your back. My partner comes to underneath my armpits. Up, up. Twist. Turns to the outside. And we have a sweep. Okay? Fine with that, let's go for uh, the single X card. And we're going to be doing that drill again and again, so we're not going to waste too much time on it. Uh, is anyone having issues with that? Any questions or... Um, can I borrow you, sir? A few things. Remember, firstly, as you go, raise your hips. We don't want to be creating this space over here, and I also don't want to be lazy with this. I have to be raising my hips the whole time. Look at the way he starts jumping. It's because it's it off, off balance. Him. So if I'm here, he can be fairly comfortable there, right? Okay, firstly, remember to twist. In Nogi, if he doesn't twist back, I like to lace this leg through. And then come up to my elbow. From there we can do the heel hook if you like, or whatever. But, for the Gi, he's gonna give me the right reaction, he's gonna come back, I'm gonna sweep, and remember, grab the leg. Uh, what does guys need to stand up? Two legs. Yeah, his bottom leg, right? So if we if we race, you ready? Yeah. One, two, go. <laughs> if I can control the bottom leg, I can take all the time in the world. 
but if you let go of the bottom leg and you're just going to stand up, he goes with me and we gain nothing, right? So control that leg. Okay, everybody happy with that? So, again, we're going to do the same drill. You can either lay back or do the, do the uh, shin to shin. Remember, as you do the shin to shin as well, keep it tight. So as I start rolling, the leg should be elevating with me. It should not be creating distance. So if you just place that on the floor, I should know that, yeah, come back. So if I'm lazy, I create space. Just stay still. He doesn't come with me. I have to be tight. I have to make him come with me and elevate. From there, we go through, okay? So firstly, we do an angle, start twisting. As we go back, he's not gonna give me the right reaction and base out. So as, as I start trying to sweep him, Gaz is gonna base, so he's gonna go further away with this leg, and I can't get the sweep. But what he's done is he created distance for me. He created space for me to set up my X-guard, okay? So the traditional way to do the X-guard is usually taught this way with this grip here. And this is fantastic. It's excellent. It's really easy for me to split him up, do all sorts of sweeps, mess with his balance, and it's an awesome thing to do. But I can never get that grip. Never, ever, ever. I feel such a hard time doing this as I start pummeling through or whatever, he's, he steps his leg out or passes my guard or whatever. So, for this one, we are going to keep this grip the whole time, okay? So it's the Achilles grip, the one you go for when you finish an Achilles lock. Just wrap around his leg. So we go up, we try to sweep him, he gives me the right reaction, he, he posts out. All I'm going to do now is switch my legs. My legs were here, this leg, the one that's in between, is not just going to go into the kneecap. Slide further away into the kneecap. The other one is gonna swim through and come to the far hip. Now I like this one. There are many different variations of this, but I have pretty long legs and I like to go all the way through. Uh, and immediately as I do that, now Gauss is in pretty comfortable balance, right? And the reason why the one on the shoulder is really good because I can split him up really easily and mess with his balance. But as you can see here, he's pretty comfortable, right? So as immediately as I grab this, I'm gonna lay to my side. I'm going to kick out and come to my side. Yes. This is what I'm looking for. His hands posted on the mats. This leg elevated. And I'm in a pretty comfortable position. Okay? So, again, what we're doing. Single leg X. Go for the inside. No, come back. Go for inside. I'm trying to sweep him. He posts. All I do is go, go down. Swim underneath. And come to my side. Now look. Uh, sometimes, if you're against a partner who's bigger than you, taller, sometimes you just have to push a little more with your legs and go a little bit more to the side. This shoulder should never be on the floor, okay? Always elevated. And look, now I have his leg free and elevated, and I'm in a pretty comfortable position. So this is all we're going to do now. So, same thing. Set up the single legs. High hips. Angle. Make him come the other way. Try to sweep, but he posts. Down, in, to the side. Make sense? You want to see that again or any questions? Cool, let's try it. Uh, are we having any issues so far? Anything you want to ask about? Any questions? So far, so good. Uh, Shanti, can I borrow you for a second? So, same thing. Either we go shin to shin, or lay on the back. Now, as we get here, the, the only reason why we're extending and coming to our side, as I said, we're trying to off balance her. She's in com completely good balance now. If I try something, she's probably just going to pass me, reach for my bottom leg, pass it through, and a lot of issues. So immediately as we get here, remember, close the loop around her leg, kick out, come to your side, off balance her. Okay? Now, a uh, few options from here. Firstly, what we've done now is we've taken all the weight of this leg. And if you like the previous one that we talked about, getting the foot to the shoulder, this one is an excellent one to go for first. Because if we, let's say we were here, I'm going to go swimming underneath now, creating space. It, it doesn't really make sense, does it? Because firstly, I have to let go, I have to create space to get underneath. She can yeah, start passing, manipulating, and it's going to be tough because she has all the weight on this foot. So firstly, split, come to the side, and then as we go, I grab. From here, super simple to swim underneath. Now this grip is usually better 
the, the, the reason why I prefer the other one is because I can keep it tight the whole time. I never have to expose myself and I feel safer. But th with this one, if you like the coming up, like splitting up, this sort of sweep, this one is excellent. So keep that in mind. If you like this one, go in for the other one first. It's not wrong. It actually makes it a lot more simple because it keeps all the weight off the floor. Make sense? Also, uh, this is what Shanti's gonna go over later. There's a lot of leg locks from here, especially like in Nogi, we can go for all sorts of stuff on this leg, which is not possible if the weight is on the foot. It's gonna be super hard, but you're gonna do that later, right? So there we have toe holds, we have heel hooks, we have <coughs> knee bars, everything. Uh, from here, she basically has two options now. Number one is to try to come back up to her feet. Now, this is the first one we're gonna expose. And a lot of people do this. So we split out, we come to the side, and we wait. Now, as she goes up, all I'm gonna do is lower the one that's on the knee all the way down to the ankle. So as you go, this comes to the ankle. Now, all I'm gonna do is do like a little scissor. So this one is gonna kick out, and this one is gonna extend this way. So we're here, split, she goes, and we're gonna come up with it. Use the momentum to come up. Grab the, grab the legs and control them, right? So we can start underneath, or the shin to shin. We go, we wrap, we go one, two, three. Extend, come to the side. Now wait for her reaction. She goes back up, I lower, and I use the momentum of her coming back up. Grab the legs, come up. Super simple one, right? So we just lower, create space, split it. Do a little scissor. Can you see that one more time? Nope, you wanna try that? Let's go. Side. Now, if I'm wearing Nogi and he stays on his feet, what I really like doing from here is withdrawing this leg back into the single legs. So I go out again, I go over, and I swim it through as I come up to my elbow. Now, I like to stay on my elbow because usually if I'm not, I'm not here, you can do a forwards roll and get out. And I can roll with you and you're out. But if you come back, so we're here, split him, boom. He stays on his feet, oh, on his hand, sorry. I come over, swim through, come up to my elbow. Can you feel the tension in your knee? Mm -hmm. Can you roll? No. Nope. Uh, he's completely stuck. Now, when I feel like I want to, like I have good control, that's when I'm gonna force the roll. So as I feel it, like it, I'm gonna catch the heel, I'm gonna start rolling, and in mid-air, I'm gonna grab my heel hook and finish it. Okay, so. Not before, only like when I'm ready to go, I control the movement and I go. So in no key, we're gonna, we're gonna do. You can also drill this if you're in key, but just keep it in mind. You, you can't do it in tournaments. So we're here, split him. So he stays on his hands, he's not coming back up. Swim over, come up to my elbow, and this is gonna create a lot of tension in his knee. Now, as I feel ready, catch the heel, force the roll, mid there, connect your hands, hip goes in, and finish the heel. And, and this should, should be happening before we land. Before we even connect to the floor, he should already be tapping, right? So I'm gonna connect mid-air, bump my hip in. In tournaments, we can be a little more nasty in training, nice and easy. We're playing with the small ligaments. You wanna see that one more time? Go underneath, and, and like I said, you can drill this in gi as well. Just keep it in mind, it's more no gi. So we go here, we split him up, kick. He stays on his hands, now I come over and up to my elbow. Create tension, withdraw this arm, catch the heel, force the roll, connect, the mid air, hip goes in, and we finish. Uh, if you're able, you can swim it all the way through and all the way into the other loop. So, if you have long legs versus somebody with short legs, you can usually get away with coming all the way here. Creates even more tension, right? And then from there, do the roll and finish mid air. Any questions about that? Uh, gi people, do you want to drill this or you want to go into more gi oriented stuff? You want to try this a few times? Let's try it. Thanks. Let's try it, okay, let's go. Um, we're going to go into more grips now. So, same thing. Uh, firstly, were you having any issues with that heel hook? Find the bite or. Okay. Go over it one more time slowly. So we go, kick, he comes to his hands. Now we've created a good angle and I go over. 
Now, remember to come up to your elbow firstly. Firstly, this creates a good tension and it's much easier for me to find the bite on only the heel. So, come up to your elbow. Don't stay here, it's also easier for him to get away. Both by doing the runaway and the roll. Yeah. When I come up, it creates a lot of tension. Now, all I'm doing is reaching back, pinching the toes. So the toe should be in my armpit, so only the heel is sticking up. I find that heel, start forcing the roll nice and easy. As I do that, connect. And from here, I'm not gonna roll any further than this. I'm gonna stay on my side and really go hips in, tucking the heel back. Okay? Some people are going all the way to here, so we're basically at the start line again. And he can start rolling more, and it's gonna be endless. I'm gonna stay here, all the way on his leg, slow and steady, hips in, arch my back back. So everybody happy with that? So, Mogi people, uh, please, you can feel free to continue drilling this or something else if you'd like to. But for key people, we're gonna start doing something else now. So, we're in the same position, we've kicked him. He's on his hands, and he's not coming back up, so we can't do the split. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to reach with this arm, the one that's closer to the floor, and I'm going to grab on his pants. Now, as we stated before, we've taken all the weight of this leg, so it's super light, right? So all I'm doing is grabbing here onto the pants, like a pistol grip. And I'm going to bring that leg over my body, and as I do it, I'm going to shift. So I bring it over, and I shift. Immediately grabbing onto either belt, jacket, or my personal favorite, the pants. Super hard to get rid of this grip. So we come back with it. So we're here, he's staying on his hands. All I'm gonna do is reach over, grab the outside of the pants, lift it over my body, and shift this knee. Here, further kneecap, right? Now, belt, jacket, pants. In this order, I think the belt, it's the most unreliable. As you can see, it's not even there. <laughs> Jacket, pretty loose. The pants both make him awkward and it's super tight. So keep a hold of that. Now, two things are gonna happen. We're gonna go into both. Either he's gonna start forcing his way back. As he does that, I'm just gonna kick him out. Keep this so my hooks stay both in. I'm gonna connect my seat belt. And from there, I'm gonna start working my hooks. Now, usually finding one, Pretty simple, because I can open and find the one that one side that's more open. And as I do that, he's gonna close up. He's not gonna allow me to get my second hook. It's no more gonna So, and you can use this uh, in any situation you have a bottom hook in and he's keeping super tight and he's not allowing this hook in. It's a pain in the ass, right? So all I'm gonna do, keep my harness, keep tight. I'm gonna go toe on toe. So, uh, sorry, foot on foot. Pinch my knees together, make my harness tight, and I'm gonna spread them out. Like so. So I create space. All I'm gonna do now is take my leg out and swim to the inside. And we have two hooks and points. So, single X, we go X, we split him, and he stay on his hands. I don't wanna go up because he knows what's coming. So I take my hand, I grab the outside of the pants, preferably like a pistol grip, bring it over my body, and as I do that, I'm just gonna. Take my leg out and take it to the other uh, kneecap. Grab the pants. He's gonna come back, put weight on me. All I'm gonna do now is to kick, kick my legs out, extend my legs, kick this, uh, keep this grip really tightly. From there, connect my harness. And, and then we're gonna find one hook. Depends on which side he's gonna move. So I'm gonna keep tight, keep my knees tight. He starts moving. I swim one harness in, get him to this side. He closes up. I keep tight. I go foot on foot knees together and I do a little bridge. Second leg comes in. Okay? Any questions with that? You want to see that again or give it a try? One more time. Who's the other one? So, one more time. Here we go. X guard. Split to the side. This leg is not light. We grab it, put it over our body and we're going to do a little shift. Grab the pets. Now keep this grip. Now it's gonna, we're gonna use it later. He's gonna come back, put the weight on me. I'm gonna extend, keep him up, keeping the pants grip. Connect harness. From there, find one hook. Lay on that hook side. Keep tight. Now close up. Foot on foot. Knees together. Spread on my footer. 
hook comes in. Okay? And like I said, every time you have a bottom hook, he's keeping tight. Won't let me get the second hook in. You can do this. I really like this one. Okay, let's, let's, let's go. Now, uh, before we do that, uh, so before we do that, is everybody happy with the one we just did? Everybody was getting it right. Any questions? Okay, uh, just one thing. So we go single, we go outside, we kick him. Now we grab the good pistol grip, we come over and we grab the pen. Now he starts leaning on me, I kick him out, and I keep this one. Now, which do you prefer, the harness or the hooks? Harness. Yeah, same. I really like the harness first. So I usually connect the harness before I go hooks. Because if he starts jumping out, I can still keep him and can regain the back and keep him there. Now, I also don't like to pick a side before my hooks are in. If I pick a side first... Now, this leg is useless. The bottom leg is useless. It's not getting in there. He just needs to block this one. So I like to keep it as much as possible sitting until I get a hook in. So I start exposing him, attacking, making him worry about something. Hook goes in. And then I'll pick a side. Make sense? Okay, cool. So, the last thing we're gonna do, same thing. We're gonna go single X, we're gonna go X, we're gonna split him. He's gonna say, we're gonna grab, and we're gonna go to the same position. But now he's not gonna, he's not gonna lean back. He's gonna be laying all his weight on his hands. He knows I'm going for the back. And he's gonna keep all his weight on, the, on his hands. But I can't pull him, I can't kick him. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna release these two hooks. I'm going to come up to a technical stand-up, keeping both these grips. So the pants grip, belt grip or the gi grip, keep it and keep the pants grip. Now from there, technical stand-up, and from here you can do multiple options. If he stays like that, just attack the back. If he starts moving with me, he starts standing up, keep the grips, side control. Now all we're doing is keeping these strong grips, from there I'm going to give you Charge of the wheel, he's gonna do whatever he likes to. I'm just gonna keep it and I'm gonna expose it, find positions. So, same drill from here to here to there. Keep pistol, go up, find pass, belt, or key. Now, from there, he's gonna keep all his weights on his hand. So, yeah, so stand up and coming up. From there, quickly, you can do whatever you like. Keep this. And it sucks. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to expose and find whatever position you feel comfortable with. Okay? Everybody happy with that? Just keep the grips and see what happens. Let's go. Okay, um, any questions about any of that, guys? Everybody made their partner look like a fool. Everybody's happy with that. Beautiful. Especially with the pants grip, it makes you look like a total fool, right? It happened to me once in a tournament. I was doing the it was the finals of the uh, uh, Italy Open, Rome Open. And oh, it was the biggest match I've ever done. Like, they had referees each side, people in the, in, the, in the stands, and they called the match out and everything. And I was super anxious and excited for it. And we go, and I, I start pulling guard. He rips my pants, and he pulls it up, and my ass is showing. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I try to get my, my ass back in my pants, and he jumps the arm bar and finishes me. <laughs> Should ban that grip. Did Make you sure you look like a fool. What's that? Did you get your ass back in with the Oh, tent? I had to eat my ass as well. <laughs> no, I lost with an arm bar looking like a fool. My ass still out there. <laughs> so it's good. It both makes your partner look silly and it's super strong. Uh, just a quick recap. So firstly, my foundation for everything I, I go into, especially with axes, is, is the single leg axe guard. Of course, you don't have to do that. I just prefer it. So both we can do the setup where we go here, or if somebody's climbing on top of you or, or passing you over, over your legs, you can pull your knees up and go to single. But I like going here, going in, and I like to make him move, make him create space for me before I go. If he's super tight, like this, I'm not going into this, to the axe guard now, I'm just gonna grab him. Just gonna sweep him from there, right? But. <clears throat> I like opening it up, make him create space for me. So like go one, two, he creates space. I go in, push him immediately, and I'm on my side. From here, I feel really comfortable, both because all his weight is on that leg on his hands now, 
This one is totally free. In the, in the Nogi, I like to go for a lot of leg locks, which Shanti is gonna go over later. So if you like this class, I really recommend going into hers and getting more knowledge on it. Uh, Gi, like I said, pass it over. Or if he goes to his knee or whatever, I can sometimes just come up. Or if you like the previous like X guard, the one that's more commonly known, I like to really go with this one first, then swim underneath and get it here. So from there we had the relays come up to our elbow, go for the heel hook. We had the pass over, he goes back, I kick him up, harness, open, get one hook, he closes up, I go foot on foot, knees pinch, pinch my harness, spread it in like butter, he uh, hook goes in. And then lastly we had the we just did where he stays on his uh, hands, I pass it over, he doesn't come back, I keep this, I technically stand up and I go into whatever I like. Humiliate your partner. Uh, any questions about any of that? Everybody happy with that? Like I said, Shanti's gonna <coughs> continue on some of this stuff later on, do her own variation, so if you like this, please, I would recommend going to her class. Uh, if not, Thank you for coming, thank you for having me, it was, it was awesome. And I'll see you in future camps.